I want you to get to heaven and I will fight Amen. tooth. Let's go. Like, I will fight like <laughs> tooth and nail. Like it's not about me. My name is Danny Gonzalez. My name is Jacqueline Johnson. My name is Mary North. My name is Noah Rescata and I am an SPO missionary. Christian community is unconditional community. This is incredible. The way that people actually like looked at each other. Why does this person even care about me? Like I think I know myself, I do not. Episode one of Grounded starts in three, two, one. Oftentimes friendships really dependent on circumstances or dependent on like qualities of a person yeah, or the yeah. quality of a person. Yeah. My community in high school and like middle school and all of that was my dance community. They were my people, you know, like we would all go to the same dance classes every week mm -hmm. and like hang out afterwards and go to birthday parties and all this stuff. And they were like my people and that was how I felt like, that was how I like had friendship. And then I broke my ankle when I was a sophomore in high school and all of a sudden, like all of my friends who were like my people that I had been surrounded my like that I'd been surrounded with and that were always hanging out with me and all this stuff were gone. They were my friends because I danced with them and now that I don't dance with them, they're not my friends. Mm -hmm. And like crazy. it's wow. and I think that's like one really like tangible example, but I think that mm -hmm. happened to me in so many other ways in high school. And that's just like so crazy and it just like t even talking about it now like makes me more and more of like just unconditional love and unconditional community. Mm -hmm. Not that I've ever used those words, but I think that's what it is. Like, Christian <laughs> yeah. community is unconditional community. It's yeah. not dependent oh. on, like, if you it. have an ankle that's broken or not, or, like, if you, you know, are struggling with sin. Like, it's not dependent on those things. It's, like, just unconditional. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think what you were just sharing about, um, yeah, like, very circumstantial friendships, mm -hmm. like, that was my experience, too. My friends were the people in my classes, and in the sports I was in, the music I was in. But when when things would happen and yeah, maybe conflict arise or something, it was like very quick to just like mm. have a friend just like drop me. I just experienced Crazy. like a lot of rejection from that, like actually not being like fought for in a, in a friend. And mm. I think that's like something that is like so telling of our communities that we like, we persevere and we choose even when we don't want to. Like, yeah. we choose to love a friend even when we don't yeah. want to. <laughs> and in high school, I just like, yeah, I felt like very rejected in a lot of ways so from my friends. Yeah. Something I'm hearing as you both are talking is like community being dependent solely on like what you have in common. Mm -hmm. Just like similarities that like tie you together. And like, as soon as something comes in that's like contrary to that, it's like, all right, goodbye. Like, yeah. which is just like so rough. Like, yeah. that is just not good and it's it's crazy because i think it's so different exactly like mm -hmm. what you were saying it's so different from what we experience now yeah. where it's like man like okay well maybe we disagree on a particular thing mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that we can't mm -hmm. be friends mm -hmm. yeah. or like that we can't like love yeah. each other or actually like so like stay in relationship with mm -hmm. each other and, and it's cool because like we talk about an sp or even like just in heaven right like every race nation and tongue um, and I think one of the cool things about SPO community is like everybody is so different, right? And it's just like from the world's like yeah. kind of like standard, like from just like looking at it at face value, it's just like why are all these people friends, yeah. Yeah. right? And it was, I remember walking into like my first SPO event and it was funny because like I was carrying some of like my judgments or like woundedness with community of like needing to like fit the mold or like appear a certain mm -hmm. way into this community so but it was kind of funny because it's like I remember walking in and one of the missionaries he was from like middle of nowhere Pennsylvania and I was so confused because we're in like urban New Jersey and he's like <laughs> this like guy with like a beard and like wearing a camo shirt jeans That's camo exciting. belt buckle with a camo phone case <laughs> and like cowboy boots. And I'm just like, who the heck is this guy like in New Jersey? That's awesome. I mean, he, but he was like really nice, like asking me a lot of good questions. But then I remember finding a student who was also Filipino. And I was like, oh, cool. It's like another, like he dresses cool. He cups his jeans. He's wearing bands. I was like, I'm gonna I'm go talk to that guy. I'm gonna talk to that guy. But like, again, like there's like, there's something like, again, it's just like so tangible there. of like, like, why does this person even care about me? Like we have nothing in common. What were like, what was it like for you guys when you guys first started coming around SPO? My first experience of SPO was when I was interviewing to be a missionary. <laughs> and so I went out to Ohio State for my interview. Go Bucks. And go Bucks. <laughs> and um, I, um, I can't, sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> um, but anyways, anyways. So I went to Ohio State for my interview and I had my interview and then I went to a household for dinner. And I just remember being like, 
like really suspicious. Like I was just like, no way. Like there's no way these women are this nice. Because like I had good Christian community in college and like really had strong sisterhood and like had not experienced that kind of generosity and gentleness with sisters really ever before. And so I was like really suspicious. I was like, oh. eh, I don't know. I'm not so sure about this. Yeah. <laughs> because I like didn't believe how yeah. nice they were to each other. Mm -hmm. And like, that's not to say that my friends were mean to me or anything. Like I, I still love my friends from college, but there's something really particular about this community that the people are just so generous mm -hmm. and servant hearted and kind. And mm -hmm. I was like really struck by it. But it took me a couple months to like get there because for a while I was like, mm -mm, there's mm, no way. Yeah. Like there's no way this, this is real. real that people like love each other in this way. I also, I just want to honor Jacqueline because this is something oh, yes. I think about An in honoring. community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so because good. my second experience of SPO was coming to training. And so I was like really overwhelmed when I first got here because I didn't really know what SPO was and I was still kind of fresh to everything. And one of my favorite things about SPO is the music and one of the hardest things for me was the music because yeah, I didn't know any so of the real. songs. Mm -hmm. And so I would just be in prayer meetings and I would be like, <laughs> no, I, I can't, yeah, and Jacqueline will like fight through a crowd to find me and like whip her phone out and like swing through, not swing through, swipe through the whole songbook oh to find a song God. for me. And it, oh, and oh, yeah, that so that's my yeah. sister. That is but so good. I just like, that is like wow. my experience of community of like a sister who fights for me, like in any circumstance, yeah. like a sister who fights for me in a prayer meeting when I don't know the words or like, you know, a sister who fights for me, like. Uh, you know, when we're like running down the streets of Kansas City or something, you know, like, <laughs> like I just think that was like a really big witness to me and has continued to be a witness to me the whole year. Wow. And God. yeah, yeah. I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being a good sister, Jack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's like really interesting to think about it because I knew about SPO and I knew that I needed it, but I was actually like kind of just like a little bit resistant in my heart, like when it actually came to like choosing it. Throughout my freshman year, I was like, this is good, but like, do I really want this? And at that time, I was still like, kind of living a double life. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, like really, really like trying to, to live in freedom, but like still really, really enslaved to a lot of things. And um, yeah, I just, I think I was like hesitant and a little bit resistant because it was like, if I choose this, like my life is actually going to be different. Am I ready for that? Yeah. Similar to you, Jacqueline, I knew about SPO a little bit mm. before I came to cool. college. Essentially, I was trying to figure out, I didn't know what I was going to major in. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, I'll just stay home and kind of figure it out, you know, <laughs> stay with my parents. And um, yeah, I was like in high school, I kind of was really involved in, in youth group and mm -hmm. that was kind of like my connection with the faith. That's where God started actually like working in a deeper way in my life. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. through that, I was receiving a lot of like just really good like knowledge and really good wisdom mm -hmm. of like what it meant to actually live the faith mm -hmm. and have a relationship with God. And um, But at some point I kind of felt like I was like stagnating. I was like, I, I don't know, I feel like I need more. I feel like mm -hmm. I, I want more like formation or content. And mm -hmm. um, I also just like want community. I actually was praying about that. And like mm -hmm. the Lord was saying like, I want you to transfer mm -hmm. to a school that actually has mm -hmm. like Whoa. a campus ministry program that you can be a part of, Dang. that you will experience like deep brotherhood, but also just mm -hmm. like a community that will chase after you and like, it'll yeah. do well. So I was like, whoa, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I do that, Lord? And yeah. um, <laughs> I ended up actually going to two of uh, UCF's fall retreats, um, which is where I first like encountered SPO, but this is before I even was actually Whoa. involved. But um, yeah, I talking, so cool. this is what reminded me of it. You said like mm -hmm. taking a risk and actually choosing community. Mm -hmm. I like essentially was yeah. in this point where I was like, well, I don't really have like a structured community, but like mm -hmm. I know people who did like when they went to these schools. Mm -hmm. And so I know nobody, but I'm going to take a risk and go mm -hmm. <laughs> and just like try to experience it. And so mm -hmm. at those two retreats I went to, God like spoke these words and like my heart was just on fire. I was just like, wow, I need to be a part of this. Like this is incredible. Like the way that people actually like looked at each other, like people had conversations with me and they like looked me in the eye, like made eye contact, like asked me what my name was, like asked questions about like my life. Like they actually sought to get to know me. And like, I literally knew nobody there. Like, mm -hmm. um, But by the end of it, like I left mm -hmm. actually knowing quite a few people mm -hmm. like in that community. And it was literally only a weekend, but um, it was crazy. And so I, I ended up mm -hmm. 
transferring to Florida State my junior year and knowing that SPL was also there at, at mm-hmm. that college. And um, I remember my first event I walked into, I, I was just like on fire. I was like at mm-hmm. peace also because I was like, mm-hmm. wow, like all these mm-hmm. people like are chasing after something yeah. <laughs> and they're like doing mm-hmm. it together. Like mm-hmm. they're doing it as a group of people mm-hmm. who are chasing after God, like yeah. they're chasing after the Lord. And that's like what I want. Mm-hmm. And yeah. um, it, yeah, it, it just changed my life forever. The rest is kind of history, which mm-hmm. <laughs> is just good. Here that I am awesome. as a missionary. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, but yeah. In yeah. middle school and high school, I kind of had this like revolving door of a best friend. Like I always had, yeah. like I always had a best friend, but it was someone different like every year or like every mm-hmm. two years, just for whatever reason, like either like they would transfer to a different high school or like we'd get in one fight and that would be like it. Yeah. And I just remember, in college, there were a couple particular women that were like, no, like we would get in a fight and they'd be like, no, we're forever friends. Like, we're not going to like not be friends anymore because we got in a fight. And I just like, like my like kind of like gut was like, no, like that's hard. You know, <laughs> like it's like, way easier to just go find another best friend because there are plenty of fish in the sea, you know, like there's so many other women that could be my best friend. And so I, I was like, My initial reaction was like, no, like, I'm okay. But then these women, like, really fought for me and fought for us Mm -hmm. to continue to be friends and are, like, now some of my dearest sisters that, like, I can't, like, I still can't imagine my life without. And, but it was because they fought for me Mm -hmm. that, like, now I have, like, the courage and the the Lord's grace Mm -hmm. to, like, fight for other friendships of mine, you know? Mm -hmm. And, but it is interesting, like, what the world has to offer is, like, friendships that end pretty constantly, pretty consistently, like friendships that end and like, Mm -hmm. oh, well, you know, we had like bio 101 together. So we're best friends for like one semester. And the next semester when you're like in this other class, like Mm -hmm. maybe we'll wave in the hallway if you're lucky. But like to have people that are actually like, I don't know, like, no, I'm Mm -hmm. sticking with you and like going to continue to pursue you as my friend. And I think even like, I don't live anywhere near my friends from college. it's like a 15 hour drive to where my friends from college live. And I still, like our friendships look different obviously, but like they still pursue me and they still love me and care for me. Um, And like we're interceding for one another. And there's just something different about this like unconditional, not circumstantial friendship Mm -hmm. that's like, actually it doesn't matter where you live or what you're doing or, you know, like if we've gotten into a fight or not, it's like, actually I just love you. Right. You know, and I think that's like one of the really countercultural things about like our SPO community. Um, I mean, like that's like sometimes like we even like because like we're all united under one thing, which is Christ. Right. But and sometimes I think about the difference of like, say, like a sports team or community, because like there's like some like really deep brotherhood and sisterhood that Mm -hmm. can like be built in that. But Mm -hmm. I think it's like one of the differences is like sometimes like. Mm -hmm. On a, on a sports team, it's still like, but I like want to be the best or like, right. or like we as a team want to win a championship, which is like, mm-hmm. like still pretty united. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think the biggest difference in community, it's like mm-hmm. not, I want to get in heaven. It's like, Danny, like I want you yeah. to get to heaven Come and on. I will fight Amen. tooth. Let's go. Like, I will fight like <laughs> tooth and yeah. nail. Like it's not yeah. about yeah. me. Yeah. And I think that's like yeah. one of the, yeah, just like one of the beauties yes. about mm-hmm. SPO community, right? Like, um, and because kind of like what you were saying too, and like the, I think one of the ways that it shows itself is through like butting heads with one another mm-hmm. and having conflict, yes. right? Um, yeah. Which, yeah, I mean, obviously we're not going to go like super into like conflicts, but yeah. that's, I mean, that's just like something that I've been like yeah. super blessed by of like mm-hmm. actually having mm-hmm. brothers who will like call me on. Um, and like yeah. even like willing to put themselves or like our friendship on the yeah. line yeah. Yeah. in order to mm-hmm. like push me because like mm-hmm. they see kind of again like what I was like through the lens of the father it's just yeah. like they see more in me than I see in myself and yeah. they're willing mm-hmm. to put themselves yeah. on the line for yeah. me yeah. you know um, which is yeah something I'm so grateful for mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think one of the marks of SPO's community or just like Christian community that I've really encountered in SPO is humility and I think what you're getting at of like in a sports team or like in that kind of in like the more like 
worldly community, however you want to say it, it's often like, I have to be the best, you know? Mm. But I think there's something about Christian community that's actually, I think about that line from the Litany of Humility, I think it might be the last line. It says um, that others may be holier than I, mm -hmm. granted that I may become as holy as I should. Mm -hmm. Jesus grant me the grace to oh, desire line. it. It's a really hard line, <laughs> hard line. but like, <laughs> but that's like what we're about is like, yeah. actually like, I like as missionaries, it is like our literal job to like walk with men and women and to like yeah. foster, you know, an encounter with the Lord in their life and like encourage them to live a life after the Lord. And like what a gift it would be if they like became more than us, you know, yeah, and right. like, you know, like come yeah. Lord, what, like yeah. let it be so. And yeah. I think that yeah. that's like a mark of Christian community of like mm. actually and yeah, actually willing the good of another. So right. whatever that means, like willing the good of another, if that means them being better than me, you know what I mean? Or like them like making it further than me, like whatever yeah. that means, like yeah. actually like, Lord, what is your will for them? And like, so let's go for that and not what is my will for them, you know? Yeah. And yeah. I don't even think that's just something as like missionaries that we think about. I think like as friends, as yeah. people, like that's mm -hmm. what community, Christian community is about. Yeah. And yeah. that's crazy. That like makes yeah. no sense, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious cuz like we've been talking a lot about like how I think even majority like as students how like how community has poured into us and like how we've received but um now that we're kind of in, in a way like more on the building mm -hmm. side of things mm -hmm. now how like how has community like still like impacted your life now that you're like now that we're kind of building it you know mm. yeah. that's a good question yeah <laughs> i think something i have thought about a lot um well i think like just community has been incredibly challenging in a lot of ways because and it's interesting because i think <clears throat> like um before I enter into SPO community, I would hear somebody talking about like a challenge in community and just be like, oh, that's rough. Like, I guess they're not like great friends or whatever, like, or they, they don't have good like chemistry or like that's not a real community or, um, but I think challenge is actually like a mark of what makes a good community actually a good community. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and I think I've seen that particularly in like relationships that are hard. I've learned like, and I've grown like as a man <laughs> and like I've become more the man that like I wanna be in that, I feel the Lord is calling me to be because I've been able to like seek like those hard relationships out. And I think that is like a huge part of like building community that I've experienced is that like, yeah, like we need to be like reaching out, yes, to people that like we love and we're similar to, but also people that like, maybe it's difficult to be in relationship with because mm -hmm. those are the people that are going to call us on the most. And mm -hmm. um, that's like a huge part. And it's, it's that, I think, attitude. When we choose to love mm -hmm. people without preferences, yeah. when we choose yeah. to love people without like um, mm -hmm. wanting to be similar or anything like that, that's how we like build real authentic community because yeah. that is like yeah. the heart of it is like, I'm choosing you as a person, yeah. not like your, not like your interests and not yeah. like the things or that like you like. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or even like what you have to yeah. bring to the table. Like, I don't mean to, interject because like I feel like we haven't like even really touched on or maybe we have but a little bit but of like how much community draws our true selves out yeah right and what our true selves is is simply like point blank statement you are a son or a daughter of God yeah. Amen. period and that was like one of the most healing things for me this year was like um all pride aside like like as a student I was just like like, oh, how much potential does Noah have? Like, big conversion story, all this kind of stuff. And it's just like, now that I'm, now that you're a missionary, it's like, some of that part is, okay, like, what can I do to, like, contribute to SPO, to building the kingdom? Um, and, you know, God will humble you. <laughs> God will humble you, like, on your first year. And just, like, and, like, but being able to walk with, I mean, students, but even just, like, some, like, older brothers that, like, I, like, really look up to and just, like, having them say, like, no, like, you're a good man. Yeah. You are a good son. Like it doesn't matter. Like yeah. it's like like it's not like you need to like have x amount of people in household to like get my approval and to be a good missionary or like or son or like you're just you're you're a good man, period. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, oh man, like Yeah. So Yeah. Anyways, but yeah. Yeah. We just had um a women's night. Uh, what day is it? Last weekend? Yeah. <laughs> um, and 
um, someone was giving the talk for it, and they were talking about sisterhood. And she was quoting, was it when she was quoting E.S. Stein? Um, she said, it is impossible to dislike anyone that you really know. Mm, and yeah. that just, just got yeah. Yeah. because I, I just didn't realize it. Like, mission is so humbling. Like, this mm -hmm. past year, I've, like, never come <laughs> more face-to-face -face with my humanity and my weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And praise God, like, I, yeah. I need humility, like, more and more, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that is a dangerous prayer. Do it, God. <laughs> but do it, God, you know? Do it, God. <laughs> more. Um, yep. But just, like, I have realized, like, how many assumptions I make about people and judgments. Yeah. And, like, so I am just, like, so quick to, like, turn to people or see people out that I am, like, comfortable with or that are similar to me. And that is just, like, not the kingdom of God. Like, yeah all people and yeah. if I like really take the time to like actually get to know someone mm -hmm. like yeah I will not dislike them because yeah. Yeah. they are the beloved just yeah. like I am yeah. you know so true. yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. That's awesome. yeah <laughs> community is like I think you said this earlier on but like the like all tribes and all nations like come together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that is like what we're about is like yeah. all people, like whatever your major, whatever, yeah. wherever you're from, like all of it, like we yeah. want yeah. you yeah. and we want you to experience this so that you can bring other people in to experience yeah. this right. because what we have is so good, yes. you know? And I think that's like, yeah. yeah, like all of community is like, like can we have something so good that our biggest, our greatest desire is yeah. to draw others into it because we know what we have is so good. And that's like, that's the dream. Come, Come Lord, on. come yeah. Lord. Yeah. Like go. that's what we want. And like, yeah. let it be so Lord, make it happen. And yeah. I think he is all across the nation, which is yeah. just wild. Yeah, we have, wild. Yeah. We have 15 campuses where this is yeah. happening, you know, yeah. like it's yeah. crazy. Lord. It's like, amen, more, we want more Lord. Yeah. Um, more. So, yeah. and it's like, yeah, I wouldn't choose these people for myself, mm -hmm. but yeah. praise God for that. Like, yeah. the Lord knows who we yeah. need. Woo. Like, more than oh, we know. Yeah. Like, Amen. I think I know myself, I do not. So, like, yeah. God, you know me, and yeah. you know who I need, and I would oh, have yeah. never thought that I would yeah. I would live life with these people, but the Lord knows that I, I like, need to be sanctified by them, mm -hmm. and loved by them. No, what, no I'm just like, there's like, there's like yeah. that sense like you can't choose your brother sometimes, yes. you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. That was when we were actually uh, just like sharing it with a lot of people, but he's he's a senior now at Seton Hall, but, or no, sorry, junior, going into a senior now at Seton Hall, but like my last year in household was a sophomore year and that was his first year in household and like we hated each other, like going in, um, but like and again, it's just like when you center around Christ and, and then when we actually like started to like get to know each other, it was like, whoa, we're like best friends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, again, it's just like, I don't know, not much more of it, but just like thinking about, yeah, just the beauty of community. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, man.